The Z-axis tool change offset is the position near the top of the Z-travel that the spindle head moves to before either the double arm, insert or remove the tool from the spindle. This value does not change unless the component in the machine has been replaced. If you've replaced an axis motor, a ball screw, a coupler on the Z-axis, or the double arm or carousel plate on the tool changer, you'll need to check the tool change offset. Before you begin this process, you need to verify that the spindle orientation is correct. You'll find a link in the description of this video that shows you how to do it. Setting the tool change offset is not difficult. You'll need a blank tool holder with a flat bottom face, a 5 tenths indicator, and a mag base to do this job. Zero return all axis, then jog the X and Y axis to the center of travel. Change setting seven to off and press enter. Put a blank tool holder in the double arm, set up a 5 tenths indicator and mag base on the table with the tip of the indicator touching the bottom of the tool holder and set the dial to zero. Jog the X axis away from the double arm towards the spindle without moving the indicator. Remove the tool holder from the double arm and insert it in the spindle. Jog X directly under the spindle. Then jog the Z down until the tool holder touches the indicator, bringing it back to the same zero position. Record the machine zero position value. Then multiply that number by the value in parameter 33, Z ratio steps unit. Remember, all the numbers shown in this video are example values for this machine. Each machine will have different values. Press emergency stop. Now, add the numbers to the current value in parameter 64. If the number is negative, subtract it from the current value in parameter 64. So for this particular machine, I'll change parameter 64 to this value. Release the e-stop and press reset a couple times to clear the alarm. Zero return only the z-axis, then press z, home g28. The z-axis will now move to the tool change height. If your calculations were correct, the indicator will be now at zero. If the indicator does not go back to zero, you will need to repeat the process. When complete, make sure and change setting seven back to on and press enter. For more service information, visit hacnc.com and thanks for watching. Thank you.